yes, we've seen a lot of drones in the past, and there was Drone Wars last year, and this year at CES we're going to see Drone Wars the sequel. It should be outstanding. Now the FAA has weighed in and said they'd like to register drones. And in fact, there's even some companies out there offering to help you register drones for 25 bucks, which is crazy because the FAA hasn't set it up yet. At the end of the day, there are drones that will fit on the tip of your finger, and there are larger drones with cameras. There are drones that will fit in the palm of your hand, and all of them have uh, a lot in common with one another. Some follow your phones, some are controllable with a remote control device itself, some are industrial strength, and we're going to see them all pretty proudly displayed at CES. One of my favorite drones is the Lily. It's a Kickstarter campaign. You kind of throw it in the air, you wear a little wristband, and it follows you. And it takes only two shots that I can think of that matter. One is the one that leads you as you are kind of skiing or skateboarding or biking, and the other one follows you. And then they have that fantastic sound of music at the top the hills are alive and it goes all around you. The only thing the drone doesn't do is have any kind of avoidance technology in it. So if you happen to be skiing or skateboarding or biking past a big tree, well, I don't exactly know what happens, but I can guess. Other than that, drones are awesome, they're gonna be awesome, and they're gonna be all over CES.